Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is April 4th, 2023, and I want to share some information with you guys, some stuff that I've put together and some stuff that Brother Daniel Taylor has put together, uh, my friend from Facebook who helped me do some videos earlier in the year uh, around the timing of Hanukkah. We were, we were watching some things together, and uh, Daniel does great work putting pieces of information together and so I want to share a few things that he has seen and then I want to also add a couple things that I have seen about this. So the first thing that Daniel uh, has shared is that uh, Daniel twelve eleven says from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. So very interesting that on September 27, 2019, there was a, an animal sacrifice on the Mount of Olives by 70 nations. 70 nations sacrifice uh, on the Mount of Olives, and this was September 27, 2019. Now, was this the abomination being set up as 70 nations are wanting to control the Temple Mount and uh, the Mount of Olives. And from this day, there's 1,290 days leading us right to Resurrection Day, April 9th of 2023. 1,290 days from an abomination being set up to Resurrection Day, April 9th, 2023. Then we have the lunar eclipse of November 8th of 2022. The last lunar, the last total lunar eclipse, the last blood moon eclipse until 2025. There will not be another total uh, blood moon lunar eclipse uh, until 2025. From November 8th to April 9th of 2023 is 153 days not only connected to the mystery of the 153 fish, but the Passover written in Hebrew, the letters add up to 153. The Passover equals 153. So very interesting that from, the, from that blood moon to uh, the resurrection day, it's 153 days. Another piece of information that Daniel shared here is that from the day that the earth rang like a bell, where there was a sound that traveled around the entire earth on November 11th, 2018 to April 9th, 2023, it's 1611 days, 1611 days. Now, 1611 in the Hebrew is the exact word for the rapture. Ecstasies. 1611. Ecstasies. From 1839, which means to completely remove properly, to take out of regular pos position, standing, bring into a state of ecstasy or rapture, like a person carried out in trance-like amazement, this state of mind reaches far beyond the powers of ordinary perception. The, the earth rang like a bell, 1611 days, the number of the rapture leading us to April 9th of 2023. The other detail here that Daniel has shared is that the King James Version of the Bible was written in 1611. If we look at April 9th of 2023 in the Hebrew Concordance as a date, 4923, this means devastation, waste, or horror. Ezekiel 33:29. Then shall they know that I am the Lord when I have laid the land most desolate, because of all their abominations which they have committed. So this would be perfectly fitting for the beginning of the great trib tribulation, the devastation, the waste, the horror, which may begin on Resurrection Day 4923. Now I want to talk to you about the great American eclipse that's going to be happening on April 8th of 2024. 
what we're seeing here is that Resurrection Day weekend between April 8th and April 9th is exactly one year from the final solar eclipse over America on April 8th of 2024. We know that from August 21st, 2017 to April 8th of 2024, the exact middle day of that was December 14th, 2020, which was the first vaccine right in the middle of these seven years between these two eclipses. The exact middle day was the beginning of the vaccinations. Isaiah 34, 8 says, For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. It repeats this same theme in Isaiah 61, 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. So what we have here is a, is a Bible verse that's talking about the day of the Lord, and it also re refers to a year, one year, for the recompenses, for the controversy of Zion. So what I am pointing out to you is that Passover 2023, between April 8th and April 9th, is one year exactly to the final eclipse over America, which is also Nissan 1 in 2024. It is the new year on the Hebrew calendar. Now, what I also wanted to point out here is that the total solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024, if we look at it in the in Stellarium, we're going to see that uh, the total solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024 is exactly in the constellation of Pisces. We're also going to see not only the conjunction of the sun and the moon in Pisces, but we're going to see uh, Saturn and Mars together in Aquarius and Jupiter and Uranus uh, together in in between Aries and the constellation of Taurus. But what I'm pointing out here is that there are three double conjunctions on that day going together with the uh, total solar eclipse over America. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out here is that if we look at the co the comet E3 ZTF on the day of the total solar eclipse over America, the comet is exactly in the constellation of the celestial clock on April 8th, 2024. We have been watching this uh we've been watching this comet and on the day of the uh, of Resurrection Day, it's right up by Orion at the beginning of the river. On uh, April 8th and April 9th of 2024, it's right by the foot of Orion, right at the beginning of the river that comes out of the feet of Orion. But if we follow it that whole year, it's going to come around and it's going to make its way to the celestial clock. And it's going to be at the clock together with the uh, total solar eclipse over America on April 8th, uh, 2024. Now, the final piece of information that I want to share with you about this is that April 8th, 2024 is the first day of Nisan. It's the first day of the first month. And if we look at the story of the flood of uh, Noah, during the time of Noah, Genesis 8.13, and it came to pass in the 601st year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark, and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dried. And here we have the end of the flood, and the, the ark was opened, on the first day of the first month and this total solar eclipse is also on the first day of the first month so we have all of these details that i wanted to bring uh, together uh, for you i want to thank brother daniel taylor for everything that he put together he's got more information uh, that he's sharing also on his page i'll leave his link 
to his uh, Facebook page. And you can check out uh, Daniel Taylor's Facebook page and all of the information he's sharing there. And then all of this other information that I wanted to put together to go with this. Uh, looking at this weekend, Resurrection Day, April 9th of 2023. I pray you guys are all blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, the sign of his coming revealed.